What's going on guys? I'm back here with another banger for you and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own Minecraft Bedrock mod. But hold up, before we dive in, let me tell you about our secret weapon, mCreator. It's this awesome tool that lets you create Minecraft mods without needing any coding skills. Yep, you heard that right, zero coding required. And that's what we're gonna do today. That's what we're gonna use. We're going to be using mCreator because it is super easy and it has Minecraft Bedrock and it's just the best one I can find out there. And guess what? This ain't just any old tutorial, folks. This is the updated 2024 version. I've done this tutorial, this style of tutorial, the same tutorial actually, for in 2022 and 2023. So today, we're bringing in the freshest content the most reliable and it's the most updated one so it's the 2024 version so kick back relax and let's get ready to unleash our creativity into the world of minecraft modding now first thing obviously like most of my tutorials you're gonna obviously have to go to the official website which is mcreator.com i'm pretty sure so or net actually so i'm gonna leave the link inside the description but here it is i just searched it up and here's the main page. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna click on the big download and create a button. Here is the version 2023.4. For some reason, they don't have the 2024 version. And click EXE. And now it should start the installation. Now I'm here on my desktop and it should open. Yep, there we are. And now we're just gonna click next. I agree. And then we can click finish right here or install. And now it's gonna start installing and we'll just wait and then it will open up the main page. Now we'll click finish and now mCreator is opening. And now that it's open, you'll see on the left all of your projects that you make. So as soon as you load up mCreator, you'll be able to launch them. I already have one there, but let's click new workspace to create a new workspace, a new mod. Now. As you can see, we can change the name and stuff, but on the left, you'll see lots of different things like the Minecraft Forge and all that. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click at the bottom, which is Minecraft add-on, which this is the Minecraft Bedrock. So I'm just gonna name it tutorial, but keep in mind that the Minecraft Bedrock doesn't actually have as many features as the Minecraft Forge, AKA Java, because Java is just more friendly to like modding and everything. So right here, I'm just changing the version, um, which is 1.20, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. And I'm gonna click create new workspace. Now this is gonna try to open some random stuff, but I don't really need that right now. It's just kind of like a little receipt or something telling you how it works. But here we are, it's opened and it's kind of like a whole like game builder, but instead of building games, obviously we're building Minecraft mods, in this case, Minecraft Bedrock mods. So up here, you'll see all your little tools that we won't be using today. And on the right top, the little green play button, which is how you run the mod. This is also really useful up here, which is like how you export the mod so you can get the MC add on file so then you can give it to your friends or maybe put it on a website where you can like sell it or something, whatever you want. And then right here is the big plus, which you can access all the things you're gonna make. So let's click on item and I'm gonna make, uh, let's do a gem, like a, like a crystal. Okay, I can't name it gem, I'm gonna name it custom gem. Okay, I'm just gonna click create. And now this will open this page. Now there's a lot of stuff going on. Don't worry, I'll explain. So what we're gonna have to do first is firstly add a texture. So click on this little thing right here and you can import or create a texture, but today we'll be creating a texture. And then once you click on the menus, do everything, it will, be, it will send you to like this pixel art menu. You can build literally your pixel art without even having to leave mCreator. So I'm just gonna make a little gem right here. It looks pretty good. Yeah, this is gonna look pretty good. So I don't even have to leave the app to make like the Minecraft pixel art textures, which makes it very convenient and very good. Now, while I'm cooking up this definitely very good looking gem, I just wanted to tell you guys that only like 1% or even less 1% of you guys actually are subscribed. So I just want to tell you guys that it would mean the world to me if you guys subscribe to my channel, maybe even joined our discord, maybe even like the video, you know, any support helps and it's all free. So once we are finished with our texture, just go up here and click save as new texture. Make sure that it's not set to block. I'm just gonna name it gem right here. And I'm gonna make sure it says item, so it's not a block texture. Gonna go back here, and when I click on the little square, there it is. I'm just gonna double tap it right now. 
and there you go okay now on the bottom you're gonna see like the little the little menus so let's go through the menus with the little arrows or just clicking on them and once we get here to properties we could change the name for example it's gonna change it to gem you can change all these different things so for example here the max stack and we could change like the damage but this is just an item so i'm not going to really change anything it's kind of just for crafting recipes so i'm just going to go save mod element i can close this little page and there it is we could start our next mod element it's that easy for our next mod element let's choose the block and let's name it the gem block so then we can make a recipe later so then we can actually make the gem block now this is similar but instead we have what, one, two, three, four, five, six textures. So let's create another texture, same way, but this time it's gonna be a block texture. So I'm gonna fill out the entire thing. And by the way, keep in mind, this bug happens kinda often. It happened to me quite a couple times, but it's just that when you make the block and even add it to a biome, it won't actually like add the block. It will like for some reason won't go into the game, but there's multiple fixes to that. For example, just check if the properties are all right. Uh, check if everything is good. Like in the properties, you have the sprites, you have the textures good. And also make sure you, you sometimes when you run it into the game, it doesn't always work. So maybe try like deleting it from Minecraft and then rerunning it. But those are just some fixes. But here we are again. Uh, save texture as always, but make sure you leave it as block and here we are we could just add it to all the six little squares Oops here. It's gonna add it to all of these you could you can make different textures for example different textures at the top Then the sides, but that's different nothing here So here's where things get pretty cool actually you could change the hardness the resistance now, I don't really like getting into all the stuff with the blocks because the blocks are just like a complicated thing for me for some reason but you could change the settings to however you want, slipperiness or luminescence. But right up here, you can change what it drops. So of course, I'm gonna make it drop the gem and I'm gonna make it drop nine of them because that's what we're gonna put in the recipe. Down here, we just change what material it is. I'm gonna put stone, next one. This one's kind of like advanced properties. Let's see what it shows on the map. I'm gonna put ice since it's blue, so then it shows blue on the map. Some other stuff over here, you can mess around with it. Let's see, next, 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 nothing here. And over here is where it gets kind of cool. It's the generation. So for example, I can choose what blocks it replaces. Maybe air or something, that'd be kind of cool. Just a bunch of blocks floating, as long as it works. Let's put some grass, what else? Look, there's the entire creative inventory here. Is that dirt? Yeah, I'm gonna choose this one, this one's dirt. All right. We can also choose like if it's like an ore up here or something. If you want to make an ore, you can do that. That way it only substitutes stone. But your imagination can go wild on what you want. Like if you want like, I don't know, like ruby ore or if you want like emerald armor. Speaking of armor, I don't think you can make armor. So yeah, a lot of people were asking on my other videos. Armor, don't believe you can make it unless you make it on Java Edition, which is not this video. So yeah. Okay, now we got the gem block. Let's make a recipe for the gem block. So let's click right here, go down to recipe, and let's name it gem block recipe. Okay, that's good. And here we are. So there's a little creative inventory there, just like in Minecraft, different types like smelting and all of that. So right here, I'm gonna click on the little things and slowly but surely add them all into gems. All right, so we should be done here. Let's just save the mod element. Now there are some things like you can make it shapeless too, but that doesn't really matter since we have all the slots. Now here's the thing, you can make a living entity. So if I click right here, we can make a living entity. I can name it like gem monster or something, gem guy, I guess. Um, but yeah, I can set a model, but I will need a texture, which I don't have right now. So we won't be able to make a living entity where we can like change its AIs and stuff. So if you wanna learn how to make your own Minecraft mob and or entity, then I have a full video I made a while ago that is right there in the card that you can check out right now. It's really simple. It uses a different program called Blockbench, which is also really cool. In my opinion, kind of funner to work with than this one because way more creativity involved, but it's only really entities and models than that, so yeah. 
let's create a tool. And obviously, I'm going to name this the gem sword. I mean, who doesn't want to fight monsters with a gem sword? Now, let's create a texture. And this is basically the same thing again. And yeah, let's just model this gem sword really quick. All right, we've done this a million times. Save as texture, and this time it is gonna be an item, and I'm just gonna name it Gem Sword. Boom. We can close this now, and go to the little Gem Sword thing. Texture, and boom, Gem Sword. Now, this time, we can alter the, like, the damage, right? And the durability, and how much durability it has and stuff. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, these are the only two things you can alter in a tool, because, all the other things are not supported, they're only for Java. So let's just save that, and now let's get on to the recipe for the sword. Alright, same thing, let's call it Gem Sword Recipe. Right here, alright, let's create it. And now I'm gonna have to use a stick, so let me just search up stick. Right here, stick, and then two gems, just like a Minecraft Diamond Sword. Which, I don't think this is how you make it, but it's close enough, who cares. Now, let's make a biome. And this is actually pretty cool. You can make it like generate any biome that you want. Or not any biome that you want, but you can make your own biome essentially. It's pretty simple, honestly. Okay, let's name this the gem biome. Wow, I'm so creative. All right, now let's click create. And there are a lot of settings for the biome. So I'm just gonna tamper around with them because it doesn't really matter for now. The biome sometimes doesn't even work, but like I said, you know, redo it. Look for the community. There's pretty. Sh I'm pretty sure there's a Discord, or maybe even join mine if you guys have questions, or drop it down in the comments if you're having any problems. But yeah, here's the blocks. So we could change like the ground blocks, which I'm obviously just gonna make the gem. The secondary block here, which is like the underground part, gem as well. Over here we got some more settings, which I'm just gonna have no idea what this is honestly. Features, the temperature. I'm just gonna set that to like minus one. Oh, okay, minus one. That's good. Not supported, not supported, not supported. So yeah, a lot of things are not supported. But now let's get to actually playing this. At the top, like I said, you will see a little play button. It's green. What are you going to want to do? All right? You're going to want to click that play button, and it is going to show you a little error message. But then once you click OK, it will load Minecraft Bedrock Edition up just for you, like instantly. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's click Run Clients. And here we go. All right, here shows me the error message. Now I'm going to click OK, and it should open Minecraft, and yep, it opened Minecraft, and it's going to be in our resource packs and behavior packs, like our two, it's going to have a resource pack and a behavior pack that we can add into our world. All right, we're creating our world, let me just name it test or mod test, all right, advance, let me set the world to a flat world. All right, so let's make it. Let's go to multiplayer. That's good. Cheats. Let's turn cheats on. Keep inventory. Always day. Oh, wait. We, we should probably not make it flat world so we can see the biomes and stuff. Resource packs. Now, right here, you're going to click active. Scroll all the way down. And here it is. Tutorial. It's going to have the M creator logo. Go to active. And it should be active on the other one, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. Okay, it's down here. Okay, tutorial. Activate. Now, make sure you have your experiments on, by the way, or else I don't think this will work or some things will get bugged out. So just turn on all your experiments just to be safe. It's probably just one experiment, but I just do it just to be safe. Well, let's create the world and let's see if it worked. All right, I'm in. All right, so let me just set myself to creative mode real quick so I can actually access the inventory and see all the stuff. Game mode C. All right, we can fly around. It's good. Click E, go down here. And there it is. The block is nowhere to be seen as expected. I thought this would happen, but it's okay. Let's grab a crafting table and some sticks so we can craft everything. So let's go here to the crafting table. But firstly, look, we have our sword. Let's test it out. Let's grab a creeper. Where's the creeper? Creeper, creeper. Oh, here it is. Okay. So place the creeper down. And one, two. Yep. Does 10 damage just like we did. And we could make all sorts of swords with this. Here's our little item. All right. Let's get to crafting. I think that's the most important part. But look at how cool those are. All right. Look. I can make the sword if I'm not mistaken. Boom, I can make the sword. And let's try making the block. Yeah, doesn't work. That's weird. The biome probably doesn't exist too. Let me try giving myself it. Give at P. Yeah, it's not here. But again, you can find lots of fixes for this. 
and it works most of the time maybe try making a new project because in my last tutorials i had no one have this problem i've just had this problem like the past couple of days so it's weird maybe it's just a version so soon enough when this video comes out when you install it it should be fixed see look the biome yep didn't work at least it's not because there's no blocks and it was completely built of blocks so yeah anyways if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and like because that would mean the world to me and by the way if you're gonna comment and like say that something didn't work or just ask for help just be sure i read my comments so i will go out of my way to try to find a solution for you because that's what a good youtuber does reads his comments and helps out his community so subscribe i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye